Good evening and welcome to the benefits of Canterbury, St Dunstan, St Mildred and St Peter where you join us for our service of night prayer or Compline on Wednesday the 21st, uh, sorry the 24th of August 2022. My name is John Morrison and I'm standing in for my colleagues the, uh, the Rector, the Reverend Joe Richards and the Curate, the Reverend Jenny Walpole. In the calendar of the Church of England, we are asked today to remember Bartholomew the Apostle. It has been long assumed that Bartholomew is the same as Nathaniel, though it is not a certainty. The Gospels speak of Philip bringing Nathaniel to Jesus, who calls him an Israelite worthy of the name. He is also present beside the Sea of Galilee at the Resurrection. Although he seems initially a somewhat cynical man, he recognises Jesus for who he is and proclaims him as Son of God and King of Israel. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. Our traditional hymn is spoken. Before the ending of the day, creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night, tread underfoot our deadly foe that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. The Refrain for Psalm 31 verses 1 to 5 and then 19 to the end is into your hands I commend my spirit. Into your hands I commend my spirit. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me. Make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock, a fortress to save me. For you are my rock and my stronghold. Guide me and lead me for your name's sake. Take me out of the net that they have laid secretly for me. For you are my strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord God of truth. Into your hands I commend my spirit. How abundant is your goodness, O Lord which you have laid up for those who fear you, which you have prepared in the sight of all for those who put their trust in you. You hide them in the shelter of your presence from those who slander them. You keep them safe in your refuge from the strife of tongues. Blessed be the Lord, for he has shown me his steadfast love when I was as a city besieged. I had said in my alarm, I've been cut off from the sight of your eyes. Nevertheless, you heard the voice of my prayer when I cried out for you. Into your hands I commend my spirit. Love the Lord, all you his servants, for the Lord protects the faithful, but replays to the full the proud. Be strong and let your heart take courage all you who wait in hope for the Lord. Into your hands I commend my spirit. 
Lord Jesus Christ, who scorn when scorn and shame besiege us and hope is veiled in grief, hold us in your wounded hands and make your face shine on us again. For you are our Lord and God. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Our short scripture reading this evening is taken from the first letter of Peter, chapter 5, verses 6 and 7. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, so that he may exalt you in due time. Cast all your anxiety on him, because he cares for you. Our responsory. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Our Gospel Canticle this evening is the Nunc Dimittis, the Song of Simeon. Grant us your light, O Lord, that the darkness of our hearts being overcome, we may receive the true light, even Christ our Saviour. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Grant us your light, O Lord, that the darkness of our hearts being overcome, we may receive the true light, even Christ our Saviour. Gracious God, we come to you this evening in the warmth of the evening sun. And we pray for all those for whom we have concerns. You know them well, O oh Lord. And so, in the silence of our hearts, we name all those who are undergoing treatment at the present time, who are close to the death, who have left this mortal life and whom we remember and all those who are in poverty or oppression. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Our collect for this evening. Almighty and everlasting God, who gave to your apostle Bartholomew grace truly to believe and preach your word, grant that your church may love that word which he believed and may faithfully preach and receive the same through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen.
in peace we will lie down and sleep for you alone lord make us dwell in safety abide with us lord jesus for the night is at hand and the day is now past as the night watch looks for the morning so do we look for you o christ the lord bless us and watch over us the lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us the lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen. Thank you for joining us for our service of night prayer and compline. Tomorrow my colleagues will be with you at nine o'clock for morning prayer. Have a safe and quiet night. Good night.